celebrating 30 years of phenomenal trend forecasting. Five times a week, Monday through Friday. Here's Gerald Salenti with today's trends in the news. Hi, this is Gerald Salenti, and here are some of today's trends in the news. Well, today they're celebrating Columbus Day, yeah, but we're working over here, and boy, is it beautiful outside. Whew. Places packed with tourists coming up to the Catskill Mountains. A lot of people taking that uh, Catskill Mountain railroad train line ride. Looking at the beautiful fall foliage of one of the last old rails still left. But they want to rip it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's rip it up. Let's rip up the last one that they have. Why keep them? Hey, the rest of the world's building them. Let's rip ours out, but I really suggest you consider coming up to take a beautiful, beautiful ride in the glorious Catskill Mountains to see views that, you know, that are some of the best in the world. And on Columbus Day, of course, you know, it reminds me of my youth. I remember when we were kids and we moved from the Bronx to Yonkers, we social climbed, moved into an area where there was a bunch of white kids, you know, these English kids. My brothers and I, we used to get in fights with everybody. They didn't like us dagos, as they try to call us. So things got really ugly, you know? So my Uncle Frankie, Frank Vigilante, may his soul rest in peace. What a cat he was. Boy, handsome guy, mustache, always dressed fine. I told him, Uncle Frankie, Uncle Frankie, every time you know, these kids are saying to us, we're nobodies, that their great, 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 great grandfather came over... Uh, you're on the Mayflower. As my Uncle Frankie would say, uh, you tell them that your great, 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 great grandfather came over with Columbus. So there you go. And actually, as I looked into the history, uh, he was also a sous chef on the Nina. Ah, you know what that is. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Hey, yeah, the sous chef part's bullshit. But that's not my Uncle Frankie's story. That was true. Okay, hey, woo! Here we are. America held hostage, day 14. The world is being held hostage by 536 official political assholes. Oh, you call them Congress. Oh, yeah, and you're president, you're con mander in chief. This is a disgrace, and the whole world is freaking out. Yeah, this was from the weekend paper, the Financial Times. Republicans blink first in debt battle. Well, they didn't blink too long because those assholes are keeping it going, too. And they're all freaking out. World leaders press for U.S. on fiscal crisis. The toilet paper. Today's Financial Times. U.S. makes final debt push. With just four days left before the country faces the risk of default. Hey, it's not my fault, it's their fault. Christine Lagarde, the managing director of the IMF, warned that if the debt ceiling, which will be reached at midnight tomorrow, is not lifted, the global economy would be disrupted. Jim Young Kim, the World Bank president, said the U.S. was, quote, days away from a very dangerous moment. Oh, you call me a gloom and doomer, huh? Oh, yeah. I've only been saying this now for the last week. But I, what, what do I know? Hey, they wouldn't let me go into the World Bank. I don't count so good, you know? I don't do numbers. If this comes to pass, it could be a disastrous event for the developing world and that will, in turn, greatly hurt developed economies as well. Oh, yes, the uh, developed world comes first, you know. <laughs> yep, no, it's one after another. Jamie Dimon's freaking out. All of them, 
Yeah, where's Jamie over here? Let me find his quote. Jamie Dimon, the chief executive of J.P. Morgan Chase, the criminal operation that fronts as a bank, painted a bleak picture of the days ahead if there is no resolution. Quote, as you get closer to it, the panic will set in. Why, you gloom and doom are you? And something will happen. Yeah, no shit. Hey, but Jamie said it. It means something. Jamie boy. Yeah. He added that J.P. Morgan had been, quote, spending huge amounts of time and money and effort to be prepared. Be prepared. I've been saying tomorrow, whoop, no resolution. My dough comes out as soon as the bank's open. And if they give me bullshit, you're going to hear about it. And Wolfgang Schauble, the German finance minister, issued his own urgent appeal, quote, the fiscal standoff has to be resolved without delay. All right? One after another. One after another. A gang of 535, you call them your, your senators and congressmen, they're a gang. The Republican and Democratic gang is destroying this country. Keep voting. Election day is only less than a month away. That's right. What else do we have in the news today? Ah, Syria, lovely Syria. That's out of the news. Only little things are happening over there. For example, rebel infighting kills scores in Syria. Huh. More Syria rebel groups leave U.S. back command amid worry that moderates will be shut out. Yeah. That's not what... Ketchup King Kerry, the con man over there, was saying, you remember when he quoted uh, that article in the Wall Street Journal by Elizabeth O'Baggy, the analyst with the Institute for the Studies of War. Could you believe this shit? They make up this crap. The Institute, how about an Institute of Official Con Men Ripoff Artists? And politicians that destroy your countries. How about an institute of that? Kerry said it that, uh, that these guys over here, that Syrian rebels killing each other, I just don't agree that a majority are Al-Qaeda and the bad guys. Could you imagine that? This, the bad guys, the bad guys, the good guys, they actually talk in a stupid language and they keep repeating it as though it's coming out of the mouths of intelligent, concerned people. Ugh. He said, that's not true. Well, he also said, the opposition has become increasingly defined by its moderation, more defined by the breadth of its mem membership, yeah, and more defined by its adherence to some, you know, democratic process. You know you know he is that was bullshit. speaking bullshit. Phew. Hey, talking about more death and destruction, bombers kill 47 across Iraq. Wonderful, wonderful. The people like Kerry, the people like Bush, the people like Obama, the people like Clinton, the people like Cameron and Sarkozy and Hollande and Merkel. These are the people that are destroying the planet in front of your eyes. Why get upset? Some asshole, I forgot his name, canceled the subscription because he didn't like Gerald Salenti's meltdowns. Meltdowns, bend over. Cancel your damn subscription. What do I care, you jerk? And I'm not misogynist when I say that, oh, if only women were in charge, because that's the bullshit line that they keep putting out there. I 
I'm going to read his name tomorrow. And I'm not an anti-Semite. He accused me of that too. Hey, you steal any land lately, Israelis? Oh, talking about a maniac, I got one right here. Yeah, while you people are enjoying yourself over the weekend, I got to read this crap. Yeah, nuts Netanyahu still out there making the rounds. Netanyahu takes a lonely stance denouncing Iran. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel, the son of a historian, big deal. Son of a historian. How about son of a bitch? Son of a historian. Like that gives him anything. You use history to understand the present and chart the future. History is a map. You know what a map is? No, asshole. What's a map? I'll tell you what a map is. History, history is a map. You want to know what a map is? Well, you know what a map is? A map is a crystallization of the main things you need to know to get from one place to another. Okay, look at this map. Look at this map. Israel 1948, Israel 2013. You got it, nuts? You said it yourself. History is a map. Save the bullshit. And I don't want to hear any anti-Semitic comments going back and forth with everybody else either. And I'm not censoring anybody. Let's just keep it clean. It's not about Jews. It's not about Chinese. It's not about Americans. It's about sick people that are running governments and using any excuse they can to make other people hate other people. Just like the bullshit coming out here. Seven Red Cross workers abducted in Syria. And you know who they attribute it to? Radical Muslim fundamentalists. They're not radical Muslim fundamentalists. These are gangs. These are mafia. You talk to anybody in those countries. They're mafia. They're murderers. And they use this as a cover-up, just like Nets, Nuts Netanyahu over here uses it as a cover-up. And talking about a cover-up, from the start, signals of trouble at Health Portal. Right out of the toilet paper. Signals that the whole thing isn't working. And this is not, this is not socialized medicine. It's exactly what the corporations want on both sides, Republicans and Democrats. It's forcing people to buy insurance. It's negating the responsibility of businesses to provide insurance coverage and for the government to provide insurance coverage. Let's call it what it is. And this whole bullshit about the government shutdown is to keep raping people of their Medicare, of their Medicaid, of their Social Security, of any social programs to help the people as the 400 families in the United States with, four, with $2 trillion keep filling their pockets and the Jamie Diamonds of the world and the Floyd Blank Fines of the world keep robbing the people of their money, their homes, their lives, and their dignity. World top bankers warn of dire consequences. Yeah, one of my favorite one. De-Americanized world needed after U.S. shutdown, China says. De-Americanized world? Where would you be without Kentucky Fried Chicken? You got it all over the place over there, you Chinese. Yeah, where would you be without Coke and Pepsi? Where would you be without genetically modified foods? Where would you be without war? You want to de-Americanize. Where would you be without gangster culture? Hey, motherfucker, motherfucker. Hey, you want to de-Americanize? What are you, stupid? De-Americanize. Oh, and talking about China... China developer buys into New York. And you want to de-Americanize. You're full of shit too. 
Five billion bucks in a 22-acre commercial and residential project in Brooklyn joined up with the Ratna Company. Yeah, Ratna, rats in China. It's all a big deal. The big ones get everything, and you get screwed. And you want to see another screw job? Here he is. UK relaxes visa rules for Chinese visitors. That's right. That little chicken hawk over there, that little boy of a man pretending to be a man. Yeah, that eating guy. Yeah, eating a lot of crap. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't look like him. That's right. George Osborne, the UK's chancellor, will make the announcement today as he begins a five-day visit to China to drum up investment in the UK infrastructure. You're the assholes that started the Libyan war. You can't build your infrastructure. Hey, go to the Chinese. Maybe they'll loan you some money after you bend over, little boy. Why should I get upset? They're only destroying the planet. Oh, the lovely Chinese with their damn pollution everywhere. Oh, no, it stops right over there at the borders, I tell you. And they're buying up the world as the United States goes down the crapper and assholes like Ketchup King Kerry put us in the crapper. This is Gerald Salenti. And that's some of today's trends in the news. Listen to a story about a gal I know She's my music making mama, I'm her hillbilly boy She's sweeter than the music when she tickles the strings Sweeter than the flowers down in New Orleans She's my music making mama from Memphis, Tennessee There's a hideout in the depths of Harlem It's a sizzling red hot rendezvous Where the folks about town all gather round High hats from the avenue Every night till break of day Cats all idle time away Down at Joe's where crowds are gay And the jive is jumping 